Well, I mentioned a couple videos ago, we had a pretty big hailstorm come through here and it did some damage to my air conditioner up on the roof. Even though I had the cover on it, uh, some of the hailstones still went through the grate, the plastic grate, because I don't have a protective screen on the inside of that plastic grate. Hailstones came through and uh, really did damage to the fins. I'm gonna take you up on the roof and show you what happened. You can see right here where the hail hit the coils a whole bunch of times. And of course, you know, I didn't have my screen installed uh, on the cover here. Uh, go ahead and do that when I'm done. Put a screen on this side here. So the tool that we're going to use for this repair is called a fin comb. You can pick these up on Amazon or at uh, an RV uh, part supply store, uh, any place like that. On the one that I purchased, I've got, uh, let's see if you can kind of see that. It's got four different sizes for four different types of fin, four different spacings of fin. So we just need to go up and make sure that we've got the right spacing and we'll start straightening those fins out. These tools are pretty inexpensive. I think under 10 bucks, you know, 10 or 15 bucks, you can get a pretty decent one with a good handle. Um, you're gonna need to apply a little bit of force, not a, not a lot, but you wanna make sure that it's got a good stout handle. Uh, if, it, if you got one that it's a little bit flimsy and it breaks, your hand could slide up against the uh, fins, not only do damage to the fins, but also cut your hand pretty badly. All right, so I got my fin straightening tool here it's just a fin comb it's got four different sizes but just make sure that you line up the right size uh, on the uh, fin comb uh, with the fin size on your air conditioner and then just kind of lightly slide it in there so all the teeth on the comb get in there and then just drag it all the way down this part takes a little bit of time just make sure you line it up right and keep the fin comb down into the fins uh, while you're dragging it all the way down. Just start on one end and run all the way down to the other. Just being careful not to smash the fins with your hand as you're running the fin comb down. All right, you can see here I'm running the comb up from the bottom uh, in a few spots. That's only because the fins were smashed so badly on the top that I couldn't get the comb, uh, I couldn't get the fingers of the comb into the fins. So I'm just, wherever I can get it in uh, from the top or the bottom, I make sure I run it all the way uh, for the full span. And that really straightens them out. As you can see, uh, a lot of those dents are gone. I'm going to speed this process up a little bit. It took about 15 minutes or 20 minutes to straighten this whole air conditioner out. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. You'll see in the end here. Well, it's not perfect yet, but I'll spend a little bit more time running the uh, fin comb down and, and then back up through the bent fins and uh, see if we can get it straightened out a little bit more. All right, I spent about another oh, five minutes or so, and there's still a couple of spots here and there, but I think for the most part, it's pretty straight. Um, this side is probably the worst, but most of them are pretty straight, so I'm pretty happy with that. It should be a lot more efficient than what it was. So if you guys saw my video uh, on my furnace, when I was doing the maintenance on my furnace, and I also added the uh, 
wasp screen or for mud daubers and wasps. Uh, prevents them from getting into the exhaust. Uh, this screen, I'm going to go ahead and cut a few sections, and, and this is what I'm going to use to put on the inside of my air conditioner cover to prevent any hail from coming in and damaging those coils again. So I'm just going to cut a, a couple of strips of this, uh, wire them together, and then drill some holes in the cover of the air conditioner, and then use some uh, self-tapping screws and run those through. Uh, securing the screen to the inside of the air conditioner uh, cover. Let's uh, let's get that done. All right, so I got the cover in my shop here. I don't need to worry about these side vents, just the just the rear vents, uh, because that the coils line up about right here. So I just want to cover this area right here. So I'm going to go ahead and take a measurement, and I've got a couple places where I can screw that screen to. Um, this larger area and then I've got these side brackets here. That shouldn't interfere with the where this slides up against the coil frame. Alright, so I got 21 inches across and then 12 inches for the height. I'm just going to cut two strips. This is uh, I think six inches so that should be two strips should be just right. kind of a dry fit here yeah that's gonna be plenty with a little bit of overlap so so I'm gonna take these two pieces and and just slightly overlap them and that way I can take the edges here and this stuff this aluminum screen is really easy to bend um, and I can shape it around these bottom corners and the top corners there just so it, it's you know sort of molded to the uh, openings on the plastic and then I'll run the screws in from the outside through some of these little mesh holes and that'll help secure it up against the plastic. Using some short stainless steel screws I fastened that screen to the inside from the outside. So now no more hails coming in. Alright, I'll get this cover back on. All right, so there you go. Spent about maybe 15, 20 minutes trying to straighten out those fins. I could spend a little bit more time and uh, get some of those where the fins have kind of stuck together and doubled up uh, and the comb caught that groove and they stayed together. I could separate those at the top and then run the comb back down and, and, and get those those two fins that were stuck together separated. That happened in a few spots, but it's a lot better than it was. It's, it's definitely going to help it cool better. Uh, if you've got that problem, if you're, you know, caught in a hailstorm and your uh, air conditioner fins get damaged, uh, definitely get up there and, and hit it with one of these fin combs. Spend a little bit of time, go nice and slow uh, to make sure that you get the grooves correct and then run it all the way down. Don't don't pull it out halfway, let it run all the way down. And, uh, you know, just slow, go all the way across the entire coils and you should be able to get it. So hopefully this video helps you. I'll put a link down below for the, uh, the fin comb tool. And uh, yeah, get yourself one, it's a nice tool to have just in your tool bag if you're out RVing, uh, if you're a full-time RVer especially. And uh, if you get caught in a hellstorm, uh, get those fins straightened out. So hopefully this helped and we'll catch you on the next one. Later.